Last time on Survivor, all 18 castaways arrived to prove that they could be the next sole survivor. Once all three tribes were situated, they headed back to camp where they introduced themselves to one another. Then they headed straight to the immunity challenge, where Faith had a decision to make. She had to choose two players from two different tribes to switch tribes, and she chose Venom and Ova. At the end of the immunity challenge, we saw the red tribe and yellow tribe come from behind, leaving only the pink tribe to go to tribal council. And when they got back to camp, it seemed like Vaughn already dug himself a grave by staying very silent during the strategic talk, which resulted in a very easy first boot and Vaughn going home unanimously. Who will be one step closer to claiming sole survivor, and who will be voted out tonight? Alright, so uh, easy vote. Everyone feels bad for voting out Vaughn, and I guess I feel kind of bad because, you know, he was from South Korea. I thought bro was British, not gonna lie. Bro just wasn't talking. There's nothing I could say. How am I supposed to work with you if you, you just, like, don't talk? I need people to work, and they, they just, like, don't shut up, and that's, like, most of this tribe. So, of course he was gonna go. I don't know why he flipped on Archer. I honestly thought he was gonna vote me. We'll see what happens. Got my first backstab complete. What is it, like, 17 more to go? Let's just do it. I'm ready to keep backstabbing people. I want it to be more brutal than that one. Oh, yes, yeah, Superintendent oh. Chalmers. Controller, <laughs> do you know what yes. TCM stands for? Do I know what TCM stands for? Yes. No, what does it stand for? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What? Do you not know what that is? Oh, no. the Chainsaw it's a, it's a movie. Oh. No. Oh, movies. It's like horror oh, movies. Oh, okay. And there's like a whole franchise and it's called TCM. That's why I found your name interesting. All right, so we are all unified. We're all on the same page. This is a fantastic. It's unfortunate that we had to send someone who is probably super, super nice outside of this and who really dedicated their time to this. First boot is never easy. Going through tribal early is another fantastic thing just simply because we build that camaraderie. We build those experiences together. I feel like black Cav white. didn't take Wait. into account the colors of us because me and Archer are both yellow and we're on the pink tribe. Yeah, I'm like full red. The controller's oh. red, and he's. You have purple pink. on you, so it's kind of pink. I'm, I'm literally Princess Peach, so I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Can't I get any more pink. I'm pink. I think. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I have a pink nose, I guess. I'm like light <laughs> pink. There you yeah. go. Faith and Allison are the only true pink trip. But what about Archer? Um. What about Archer? Uh, like, well, um. Yellow. Mm. You, you see, it's rough voting out Vaughn, really, because Vaughn, despite not really talking, he seemed like a genuine sweet guy from Korea. You know, I don't really see many Korean players, but in the end, it's for the good of the tribe. As rough it is, we hope to avenge him when we win, hopefully win the next challenge, and uh, don't worry, Vaughn, we're, we're missing you, buddy. Do you guys think there's going to be, like, a sumo challenge? Probably. Most likely. Or at least something to do with sumo. Maybe we should yeah. like practice for it and punch each other. Totally not for okay, my pleasure okay. or anything. Maybe. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, he won. <laughs> Hell yeah. If we yeah, win no. again, I'm gonna go get some Thank lunch. You. Yeah, exactly. We, we could, could all go. Yeah, yeah, we, we could all go. Yeah, and so then we could rest up and win the next challenge after that too. Yeah, it's not just Holy immunity shit. on the line; it's lunch on the line. <laughs> it's been a long night. Now that I've gotten to know everyone, uh, I feel actually a lot better than I did uh, when I was initially swapped. I thought I would stand out immediately as the odd man out, but I, I feel strangely enough right at home with this tribe. I feel uh, like a much more less chaotic connection with this tribe than I did with the Red Tribe, uh, which is cool. Uh, I've managed to make some type of connection with uh, Adachi and Razi. You know, we've had, uh, you know, just some simple messaging like, hey, you know, what's up? How you doing? Feel good with you? Everything's going fine on that front. I mean, ideally, we'll continue to win, but if we do go to Tribal Council, Call me crazy, but I actually feel like I'm not going to be in danger. I got, I got oh. some dominoes on the way. Nice. I said I have dominoes to give to my friends. Get oh, wow. I did not sell. Got some strawberries in a container on the way. Up. 
I got my cat, my cat meow. Venom, do you have a PP and J? You're gonna eat your cat? I do not. Thank you. There you go. Who who mm -hmm. wants a PP and J? I'm good. Bro. I'm good. But so where are you? I want one. Uh, come to the crystal That's palace. Not. You guys think there's any sort of uh, edge or redemption island element here? I don't think uh, so. I don't think has, so. Has Cav ever done one before? Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Yeah, in season four, I think there was this thing where you have to go into like the underworld and get voted out. So, and it had the most bullshit twist I've ever seen in my life. Everyone had a poll randomly, and two people were just automatically sent to the underworld randomly. That's so fucked up. Like, you start yeah. the season and you just get randomly chosen to go to Redemption. <laughs> oh my god. I'm stressing, man. I'm not really having any luck finding this idol. My tribe, they're super verbal. They talk a lot about Big Brother. My ears are kind of bleeding. Not that they're annoying, they just don't stop talking. There's no peace and quiet. So I don't really fit in with them. They kind of view me as a little jungle creature who just fucking lurks in the trees. So, not my connections aren't looking too good. I gotta really go and find it. Just based off of everything that's happening around camp right now, I think I'm in a very good spot. Ova and Zai, they're gonna be after each other. And Chompsers, he already approached me for like an alliance and whatever, so I think we're gonna align. Zai's lead approached me for an alliance and I think both of them feel really good with me. So I wanna keep them around for as long as I can and just have a small group of people I can trust. I don't think anybody is gonna be targeting me. And if I can put myself in a powerful position where I'm underestimated and I go under the radar, but I'm able to like vote accordingly to what I feel is best for my game, then I can make it very far pretty easy, like no difficulty whatsoever. Hey, but if I end up getting out, y'all y'all gotta carry out the plan. Oh, oh, it'll be my dying wish if I get out. We lost Venom and we gained Ova. And honestly, for me, it couldn't be more bittersweet than it is. And the sign that's bitter is I was really close to Venom. We were making a really good connection early on in this game. But the good side, the the almost sweet side of it is getting Ova, Ova and Zaddy have beef. And that couldn't be better for me because I actually like Ova. And I think in my head, I actually am getting the worst vibes from Frosty, which you know, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, feed it out more and, you know, weed it out. I'm just getting this kind of weird tone and kind of aggressive nature and that I don't really like and, it, and I know Frosty can kind of, you know, if, if some, some a character like that can get deep into the game, you know, people will follow that and I don't want to allow that to happen. So hopefully, I can convince these people who are at odds to work together just one round and if I can do that, then I'll be set up for a while and I'll, I'll be able to get, you know, deeper into the game with, you know, immunity in time vantage and uh overall things are looking good for me All right, everybody, welcome back to your next immunity challenge. Yellow, red, I'll be taking those idols back. Oh, who has it? Okay, here's it. 
All right, once again, two immunities on the line here tonight, where one of you will be the second player voted off in this game. In this next immunity challenge, all three tribes will use an ice boat to ride across an ice path one at a time. Once they've reached the end, they will get out of the boat and place one piece of concrete powder inside of a glass box. The two tribes with the most concrete powder in their box after 10 minutes will win immunity. All right, survivors ready. Go. Oh shit, fuck. Oh, if you fall, oh, like Stan Cade just hit. He needs to pick up this Frost, boat, next boat ready. and head on the way back. Venom falls has to go back. There's to only one boat I'm Harrison doing well. I got being, big, being pretty slow. Oh, yeah, Venom yeah. catching up pretty well. Sam, Sam not doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Harrison taking his time. Now Harrison can now throw his piece into the bucket and now run back with that boat. Give it to the next player. Here we go. Oh, we got to roll What's here. Up? Sam now here for the pink, putting his first okay. pink in. Now Venom okay. taking his time. Hell, I'd rather just make sure I make it. <laughs> like, hold up, baby. Frosty J going next. Frosty Falls has to go back to the beginning. Right. That, Venom I just about to make it onto right. the black line. Now Ooh. Venom can throw his first yellow piece in. Ugh. Okay. Faith going up for the pink. Frosty J attempting once again. Yeah. So Frosty did a good job going quick. Frosty falls. He has to go back to the beginning. Frosty last second has to go back. Faith taking her time. Go. Faith gotcha. going around a corner, going kind of quickly, which is risky here, and has to go back to the beginning since she fell. Has to try the boat oh again, God. same as Akashi going back, Adashi. Frosty J doing a good job, going really quickly, and he falls, has to try again. Right. Faith, good job, going slow. Adashi doing as well as well. I just said, well, twice in a row, if you made it any sense. Well, well, uh, oh, Gusty, well, well, good well, well, job! Well. With his yellow, puts it in the bin, heading back to this boat. I think the yellow truck is now in the lead with <laughs> increasing the <laughs> power. Awesome. Here. Out in first, Adashi doing a very good job. Yellow falls, has to go back to the beginning. Right, Frosty with a crazy maneuver. He now scores his second point for his tribe. Pink now in last once again. Yeah, Breaks the boat that. before going up the ladder, which is maybe a good strategy. Either way, Faith scores the second so point, bad. running back with her boat for her tribe. Allison, are you going after Archer? Um, yeah, so there's pretty much no need to hold Bobby. You press Bobby and you're already like, going to first. Mosh falls needs to go back again. Soon as Zaddy. Archer could put the pink tribe in the lead. Oh, no, Archer. Bro, what? Archer made it to the end. Now with his team in the lead with three points, Zaddy trying to get up here again. 360. Controller now yep. going for the pink tribe. Zaddy going a bit too fast for his own liking and falls us to retry. The controller about to score the fourth point for the pink tribe, putting them double oh the my amount God, of points ahead of any other tribe. Pink in the lead of four. Red and yellow tied for two. Time, Zaddy and Samaj cannot yeah, figure this out. It's harder than time. It's so easy if you take your time. No. Honestly, it's you can go just backwards go if you want. You can go backwards right. if you want. Don't, 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 don't hold on W. Just give that little tap, tap, tap. And don't be afraid to use S. What Harrison said. What do I do? Yellow and red do not want to go to tribal. You get get to the black. Allison with their fifth point in a few seconds. Can I jump off now? Alice can jump off and we're tied with powder inside of the lead in. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, it's very close. Zaddy doing a good job here. Really slow and steady. Samaj falls off once again. Alice can just break it. Alice can just break it. It's all good. Zaddy can now throw his powder inside of the lead. That was way more difficult than it's all. Wait, you just switch in? Got it, got it, got it. Oh, yeah. King now needs to go back the, the and try w again.
So over, a over few steps out. away from getting their third point. Two minutes over, left. This could be a tie do, game. Three to three. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay. Samaj's going to throw out, his right? block. Samaj, you're good. Yeah, get out. Throw your block inside of the bin. After get one ready. more, we'll have to. All right. You got Jesus, with there, I think seven point two. You left to play. Make sure you have the powder. Where? Where's Faith? Ova falls once again. Nice. Oh, oh, in, 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 red and yellow now tied. Estelle can't control her boat. Shut up. Let's go. Oh my God. Our turn to go back up for the third try. Pink tribe has nothing to worry about at this point. Red and yellow are the ones at come on, Ova. You got this, bro. Bottom with three points each. We might need to go to a tiebreaker unless Ova can score this point right here. Uh, Archer built oh, actually. I'm getting that shit, bro. A few steps, but yes. falls. Goes, spins out of control. Estelle giving it a good try now. Just take your time. Just take your time. Take Ova, your time. No, not as well. No, I didn't say Slowly. Getting that steady, steady rhythm. Estelle spins out, but she controls it, but she's going out of control. Falls. Needs to go back. Ova now. Taking his sweet time, trying to gain that control, stay persistent in his movements, and make sure he does not fall yeah, off yeah, the yeah, ice. Yeah, 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 and he yeah, does, yeah, yeah. which he needs to go oh, back to the beginning. I went too fast, I went too fast. You're good, right? You're good. Uh, oh Think is so far no. ahead, they don't even need to worry quick, about quick. it. Over, you just gotta chill. You have to redo you just gotta get all one that. more. We're tied with yellow. We gotta get one more. Sorry. Estelle's gotta redo from right from the beginning. Go ahead. Estelle still going for the yellow. Time we Ova up for the red, uh, falls once more, has to go back to the beginning. He fell, he fell, he got this. And that's it, that's time! That means uh, oh God, we are gonna have a tiebreaker between yellow and red. But, congratulations to the Pink Tribe for winning. Immunity, not going to Trouble Council. Let's go! Hey. Mm -hmm. Harrison, Adachi, one point to win immunity. One tribe going to Trouble Council. Survivors ready. Go. Himison, Himison, Himison. Go, Adachi. All right, Harrison and Adachi, Adachi. doing whatever they can. Adachi falls, has to go back to the time, beginning. Don't worry, don't Not worry. Not too far. You know, they can really get back don't in the bad. game. Harrison's turning out, but he controls it. Very nice control. Adachi's got a little bit of catching up to do if he wants to stay in this challenge. Adachi spinning up, oh, but he controls it. So Adachi smooth. pulls ahead of Harrison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adachi. Oh my God. This could be it for the yellow tribe, because Harrison is taking a sweet time. So do I gotta Harrison, now out of his boat. Going to place, Let's and go. with that, the Red Let's Tribe go. wins the meeting extending. Alrighty, congratulations, Pink Tribe. Come on up Woo. and grab your immunity. Amazing. Oh, yeah. That one's for you, Vaughn. Congratulations, Red Tribe. Harrison, I think you deserve it. Come on up and get the idol. Yes, sir. Harrison, you did so well. I'm so proud. And yellow, I think you know what that means. Venom, Adachi, Estelle, Razi, Samaj, Neptune. One of you guys will be the second person voted out in this game. Congratulations to Red and Pink once again for winning immunity. But yellow, see you at travel tonight. Everybody, head back to camp. Woo! Uh, Calm down. We won that challenge that was so, so epic. I mean, we absolutely crushed our competition. Just means that we took the right route in the vote, but now we're safe, and now we can uh, even out the odds a little bit more. Both of the other teams are still very strong teams though, so we can't just count them out quite yet. However, moving forward, we're looking pretty good right now, so hopefully it stays that way and we can ride the wave. Sam? Them. It's either big. that or I make spicy mac and cheese right now. Time for you to go. Somebody here is sick. We want immunity. Um, I I don't think I feel unsafe in my tribe, but it's a good thing to know that I will be safe this tribal. Um, I'm still planting a little bit of seeds everywhere. Um, Making sure everyone stays on their tiptoes because we can't have any forming alliances or duos. Um, so, causing a little paranoid, it's probably good for me, but we're safe for this tribal and 
Hoping we can win the next one. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. We did. Oh my god, right. Dave! Dave. Dave. Guys, oh my god. Vaughn, we did that for him. Yeah, yeah for Vaughn. that was for Vaughn. Vaughn Although we did vote but... him out, but... Yeah. But, listen, it was gonna be one of us or him, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. it was me or him. Now we don't have to worry about it. Hopefully there's a swap soon. You see this? Wait, come stand here on this. Stand here. Oh. Anybody What's volunteer? Going on? Just volunteer. Uh... <laughs> right now, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, our tribe seems to be having a bit of fun. We may have lost fun, but we're not out of the fight. Uh, so far, I like to think I'm in a pretty good spot. I seem to get along quite well with Archer, I seem to get quite along well with Faith, seems to get quite well, well along with Allison. So if we lose, I think we might be leaning towards Controller. But uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that, because I like all five of these people. We seem to be having a bit, bit of fun, bit of a blast. Whee! Uh... <laughs> Hold up, wait. <laughs> let, me, let me get a ladder. Yes, really. I'm gonna MLG Ooh. this shit. I don't feel too safe in this tribe right now. Um, Yvonne was not voting me just because no one said my name. Like, he had Allison's name, so someone else had to say my name. And sure, they didn't vote me, but they said my name, and I don't appreciate that. So, I don't trust this tribe. Uh, mostly, I think it was probably Faith that said my name. So it's kind of difficult to trust Faith right now because I feel like I'm their next target. But, thank god, I can, like, successfully do simple challenges called ice boats. Um, because I kind of carried. Like, I was Speedy Gonzalez out there. I just... Faith is on my hit list. They are on my hit list, because they clearly... Well, not clearly, but they likely vote, uh, threw my name out. He may have been the lies for a very short <laughs> amount of time, but he had a very, very large impact. He died from extreme diarrhea from his burrito, and he did not survive last night. Controller. If there are any final departing words you want to say to our dear friend Controller. So, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go AFK for a bit, go eat. I'm going to eat, get my OG pizza lunchables, pop that in the microwave for a couple of seconds, make the sauce nice and warm, make the cheese a little, and then I have to come back to this tribe, and what do I know? I come back, and I'm dead. They're hosting a funeral for me, they're crying, and then I come back to life, I'm like, yo, what's going on? What, what did I miss? And they're all like giggling, they're all laughing. Like, like, what do you think? Like, oh. <laughs> 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 Controller, you, you interrupted your funeral, bro. And they're all just having a really good time without me, and I'm like, you guys are kind of whack. I, I don't really, really, like, fuck with y'all too much. So I need a swap now, because this tribe sucks. I don't want to be on this tribe. They're boring. They, they just giggle at nothing. They giggle at stuff without me, and I don't get the joke. And it's just whack. Like these guys, like have the worst sense of humor. It's probably because like most of them are British, so that's probably why. And honestly, I just don't really like this tribe. So first chance I get, I'm flipping on them. But yeah, but Frost, Frost is for sure gonna be the first one we cut. Okay. And then it's gonna be. Then we'll we'll just try to hold hold off until the fifteen because I honestly yeah, think just pray we don't go to tribal too much here. Exactly. I'm just thinking about when if a tribe swap hits, who can we see flipping on us? Because I feel like if we don't include Harrison in the vote, he would flip on us. Yeah, no, no, no. We're definitely gonna um, talk to him about that and stuff. We're not we're not gonna let him know about the four or anything like that. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Because but, if we let him know about the four, he, he, one of those two is gonna play an idol. I feel like I'm getting overly paranoid and I'm overplaying slightly. Or not slightly, I'm overplaying. Um, I made a four personal lines that I generally want to like work with. That contains of me, Chomps, Harrison, and Twig. The only thing that's a little bit disconcerting is Oba, my main target. He um, told me that he's hearing everything from everyone except me in a 1v1 that I had with him. Or a one-on-one -on -one that I had with him. Yeah, it's a little bit um, discerning to me that he is 
that people are ratting me out and that my alliance that I think I have is not as trustworthy as I think it is. He's kind of like off the rails. He's crazy. And I just think Emo, he's I doing too like, much. I feel like we can come to a consensus vote, hopefully. Oof, okay. We, were, we almost lost that challenge. That would have been really stressful because I feel like between everybody in the tribe, I feel like it probably would have been between me and Zaddy. And I have an odd feeling if they're going to choose between two people who didn't do great in the comp, they're probably choosing to keep Zaddy over me considering I got swapped over here. This whole swap thing is a very concerning bit of information for everything I've had to deal with in this season. And, well, every single time I do something, I just have to think about, am I better off than somebody else on the tribe? Because I'm already at a disadvantage with everybody. I don't know football. I don't really get along with too many people. I'm hoping somebody's disliking of Zaddy's shenanigans and a little and uh, Chomper's loyalty is hopefully something I can use to get deep into this game, at least past this tribe portion. Or, well, I suppose red tribe, because I guess a tribe swap could be nice sometime soon. Some people want to try to keep him till merge because he would be such an easy first merge boot, but like, at this rate, it's just not worth it to bring him anywhere in this game. Yeah, bro, I don't know what he... I mean, if he wants to keep throwing out names, then that's on him. He's only got one name left out to throw, and that's Chompers. Even more stressful than that is just the thought of, like, dealing with, uh, fucking tribal at this rate. It's so early, nobody really has, like, strategic or social bonds. Everyone on our tribe seems to just be live in, like, paradise. It's like a vacation for everyone here. Half these people forgot we're playing a game, like, we're telling jokes in the mornings, we're just, like, having fun dicking around, we're not even- we're barely worried about what's going on with the other tribes. And overall, I feel like people need to either get their heads in the game a little more, or it's about time to remove somebody from this tribe. Honestly, preferably Zaddy, I feel like he'd probably be my easiest target and easiest to convince the rest of the tribe to get rid of, so... I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket until we lose immunity. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting the vibe, and I'm, I'm just, you know, just speaking out loud because I, I trust you and I get good vibes from you immediately. I um, appreciate that, honestly. Ova, I don't get any bad vibes from Ova themselves. Mm -hmm. Frosty gives me a little bad vibes, but I think it's just because I can kind of tell that Frosty's gonna, like, play this kind of, not alpha, but kind of, like, dominant thing, and then when they get to the merge, yeah. they're gonna be able to, you know, convince people to work with them. I don't think I've ever felt this close with somebody he could be lying to my face, and that's that's very possible, but hopefully he's being genuine, and I'm being very genuine with him and all the things we've talked about. Uh, we have, we've kind of set forth a plan moving forward uh, if we do happen to lose a challenge, but um, I feel really good with Twiggy. I got well, you. Zaddy, Zaddy is really, like, doing, doing a lot. I don't mm -hmm. mean that, I don't know if that's a bad thing right now, but, you know, yeah. targeting Ova, but telling Ova, targeting Frosty. Um, I, I think, think he's just yeah, tunnel visioning. Ahead. He's just tunnel visioning on getting Ova out. So yeah. my thing is, let's just say we vote Ova out. Like, what would he right. even do then? Yeah, and he, he, he was saying that, yeah, we, we, he's like, yeah, we'll go Ova. And if we lose again, we'll go Frosty. He was telling me and Choppers this. Mm -hmm. He said, like, we'll go Ova, yeah, we'll I joined go Frosty, in later and, I heard that. and then we'll go... He, he said you, but he, he said you because you were the only one left, not in the call. Frosty, on the other hand, is kind of giving me not bad vibes by any means. He's he's, he's overall, like, a good guy. He's, he's a good guy, like, period. But in the game, I don't think in the long run he's going to either, one, be loyal to me, or two, want to work with me. Um, and he does just worry me that when he gets to the merge, he's going to be more of a anyone that he can get as a number rather than me guaranteed as a number and then we have the drama of zaddy and ova having this like beef and it's you know me and twiggy have talked about it. it's great for both of us and we think we want to egg that on i think if i can keep this momentum uh, it can carry me a long ways in this game I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure how to go about this because it's going to be complicated if we do this based off the competition because like, I, I guess technically that leaves uh, Samaj like as the vote, but we do have like Samaj also played well in the first challenge. The first I think challenge, he did, yeah, yeah he, I think he did either the third, challenge? he was the third, third level. Yeah, he did yeah. the third stage. Not everybody got to show what they were worth, so I don't know if that's how we go about that. And it's not like we're going to have another ice boat challenge. Dude, this sucks, man. I don't know if I'm even gonna get voted out because I'm going off to talk to do a confessional. I fucking sucks. I lost to Harrison. I really thought I was gonna win. I wasn't necessarily confident in myself in that challenge, but I felt like 
in those clutch situations, I often perform. I think that was a fluke that he won, and uh, Harrison will be seeing a lot more of me if I have any help about it. And uh, yeah, I'm coming for you, bro. So I was talking um, to the others, and we did mention uh, Neptune as a potential yeah. vote. Um, yeah, I, I would say I don't. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Easiest parkour, and then also sat out. So that was a disaster. I can't believe my worst nightmare has already happened of me flopping a challenge. I was just, it was just slipping and sliding everywhere, and I had no footing. I'm so relieved that I actually managed to get one, or else I would be dead in the water. But at least I have that, and I did okay in the first challenge. So it seems like people aren't blaming me too much. Yeah, like. In our, in our, uh, when we were talking with, I was talking with Estelle and Neptune because I was finishing up my confessional and I saw that was open. Mm -hmm. We just all said like, yeah, not everyone's really getting a chance to show themselves, but we never really went up to decide a name because even people, people were like, we were talking about, oh yeah, Samaj didn't do grand the challenge, but we were all like, yeah, but you know, not every challenge is going to be a nice. Yeah, challenge. that's, like, that's, that's a really, again. that's a really. And, I thought I'd be the other bro. <laughs> and I pointed out like. Samaj did really well on the parkour, which is definitely going to be more occurring than that. Honestly, for I, me, I, I don't care about challenges. Like, I just want to be able to talk with people and see, like, who I feel a connection with. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you have somebody that you're not feeling connected with, I'd love to hear ideas. Yeah, no, man. I mean, I personally feel like, I mean, sure, obviously, we can think about challenges. Obviously, Samaj didn't do the best on that challenge, but that is a unique challenge. I feel like we, we all did a good job uh, in the first challenge, like the parkour and puzzles. Like, that was fine. Exactly. Like, I feel like challenge-wise, we're fine. Social-wise, yeah. we're fine. So I guess maybe it's, do you, like, do you feel someone is quieter, I guess? Quieter? I mean, some of the quieter people are probably, like, Razi. I mean, Razi kind of sticks to himself, and, uh, I mean, Samaj doesn't talk too much, but... Like, nobody named, like, a name in there? Uh, I mean... All. I mean, obviously, Samaj was a little worried that his name was going to come up because of the challenge. But yeah. um, but I also threw out, I was like, well, if you're worried about that, technically, Adachi lost the tiebreaker for us. But it still feels wrong to vote based off of that because it's not really a... Like, none of us are really that good at, the, at that challenge anyway. How can you be good? Like, yeah. that's such a specific and, like, odd challenge. Like... Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah, like, Samaj came up, but the only time it came up was, like, I don't want to put Samaj up. <laughs> like, that, that was, like, what we were saying, like, we don't, like, think that... But what else is there, or... what else is there to do here? Everything Quite, is... Yeah. So I've been talking with Venom and, um, Samaj, and from what we've agreed on, we are trying to stick together as a trio since we're pretty much the same age on this trap. Everybody's kind of younger, like 18 or so. So that it's trip. perfect. I, I wasn't sure if anyone would be my age here. Yeah, I, I was I was already thinking like, dang, like me and Samaj are older. Like I'm pretty sure if we lose anything, they're gonna just try and stick together. And we kind of put together that Neptune would be the best bet because he seems like he'd be a good social player. Because when we would be just walking around camp, he was the one steering the conversation. I haven't heard anything, obviously, we all got back right yeah. now, but I feel like they're either going to push for Samaj for the, um, because of the challenge, or Adachi for the tiebreaker. I, I don't think, I feel like Adachi is really showing challenges. I think it'd be smart for them to So if they might that. aim for, they, they might aim for Samaj, so... Yeah, I, I feel that might be more likely. So then that would lead... So who, who would we vote for? Between uh, yeah. Neptune and Estelle? Like, Neptune, did he do the first part of the parkour? Yeah, he was doing the first part. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure Neptune's abilities. He didn't get to go on the boat either. That's true. He did, he did he, sit out. Yeah, he sat out, but I think... I think Neptune might be worse in challenges because Neptune did the easiest parkour that sat out. Hopefully, I've done a good enough job to insulate myself strategically and socially to survive this round without needing to use my extra vote. I'm gonna bring it, you know, to tribal. I'm gonna have it with me. And if I genuinely feel like I'm gonna need to use it, I'll use it, but maybe I should just use it just in case, just as a guarantee. But then maybe I'll need it down the line. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I think right now my mission is to vote out Neptune. I spoke with Razi, spoke with Samaj. I feel like we're a solid three at the very least. So if the vote ties, that's okay. And hopefully we can get a Dachi as our fourth. 
so we can control this vote. Just hoping that I did well enough in the first challenge and vote mistakes can be understandable. You're good, because like from what I'm hearing, like, yeah, your name has come up, but every time your name has come up, it's been like, we can't blame Samaj. Yeah, for... okay, that's, that's very, like, breath of I... fresh air. <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard, everybody's in agreement that like, you are not, at, you are at fault. I mean, you did. <laughs> you True, passed, yes. But, yeah. but, but it, it was such a random and like unique challenge. Like even I mentioned like, we're not gonna have ice boats yes, uh, that's, anymore. I don't think so either. So I've heard Neptune and Neptune's name is getting thrown out. Like, I know that's where my vote is going towards, even though I don't really want to vote for Neptune. But, you know, I just gotta keep myself safe. Um, but like, at the same time, it's been like very cagey still. It's been like, sure, yeah, Neptune's name has been brought up, but like, I just, uh, I, my, I feel like I'm like sabotaging myself because I just, just have this like gut feeling that it's going to be me. And I don't know why, but I just feel like they're all trying to blindside me. And I don't want that to happen. If I had an idol tonight, I would play it. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but I genuinely would because I just, Everybody is being so like, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. This is such a hard tribal. When people are saying that, that means you're going home. I like, haven't heard your name and I'm 100% not going to hear it. Okay, thank you. That's reassuring. I I, I'm so insanely paranoid that I'm, it's going to be me. And I just, oh my God, I have to like pray that they're voting Neptune. So anything? No, honestly, I mean, it's just this vote is so complicated we it's it's weird to go about it in like a it's weird to go about it in like a competition way because um you can't because it's such a unique challenge so like i feel like i feel like you can't really judge based off of like competition strength yeah there was no skill really for that from what i've heard people are just confused it's basically, I feel like this vote's gonna basically be off vibes, like what vibes people got about it. Yeah, through. I feel like it's gonna be just a little random, like everybody's just gonna be shooting in the dark at each other. Uh, I hope that the vote's pretty easy. Uh, if Venom did a good job of convincing people the vote should be Razi, if not, I feel like it's me. I, I'm not sure if it's gonna be me or him, but let's just hope. I feel like it is because I didn't hear another name. So I'm hoping that Venom does a good job of convincing people and that it's that Rozzy should go home. At least that's where my vote's going. Sango Tribe, welcome to your first Tribal Council of the season. Adachi. In the challenge, it ended up being a tiebreaker, and it was you and Harrison that were left fighting for the immunity. Do you think that you could be going home tonight because of the decision you made to Pete in the final tiebreaker? Yeah, I feel like I wasn't really overbearing when it came to volunteering for the position in the tiebreaker. I'm really mad at myself because while I wasn't confident in myself in that challenge, I felt like I did get a good time and it would be replicatable, but Harrison ended up beating me. I don't think it made me a huge target, but it mentally hurts me. So Rozzy, so coming out of that challenge and seeing how far you and your tribe got behind, is there someone you could really like point fingers at and pinpoint who messed it up for you guys? And if so, can you vote them out tonight? Well, see, that's the thing that kind of got talked about a lot was we can't really blame anybody for that loss because the minute we saw the boat challenge, a lot of us were just kind of like, you know, we're all kind of bad at it. So challenge and we can't base it off of skill. So honestly, as of right now, I don't think anybody's to blame for the loss. Estelle, so coming into Tribal Council, you look around you and you have five other people you must trust 
in order to go back to camp without going home tonight. So now how can you even tell yourself that you can come into tribal council trusting people you literally just met? If, if you are on a six person tribe, it's the second tribal, and you feel safe, girl, you're going home. Like, you should not feel safe this early in the game. I'm just putting the trust into what people have told me, um, even if it was a bit quiet at first. So, just praying <laughs> that I can trust these people and it's not a blind side. But you never know. I think we're all scared, and I can admit that I'm scared because I don't know these people. I, they, I haven't tested their trust yet. Venom. So as Rozzy was saying, there's nobody really that you can blame for losing the challenge, and also even if there was, you can't really vote them out just based off that one fact. So my question to you is, Venom, is that is your vote still up in the air, or are you quite sure of where everybody's voting, and that's where you're going to be voting as well? Uh, I mean... The, at best, like the absolute best you can maybe be is, I guess, 50% to, I guess, 99% sure. Because obviously you never know what exactly is going to happen. And if what people have told me is the truth, then I can you know, feel slightly more confident than I did before. Uh, but tonight, uh, I am confident in my vote, and I can only hope that some amount of people also vote the same way. So, Samaj, let me ask you a question about some advantages. Now, coming from the boat and knowing that there's obviously some advantages on the boat, are you worried that an advantage could mess up your plans here tonight? Or are you kind of just going with the flow and hoping that nothing comes up? Um, yeah, advantages are always scary, but sometimes you just have to hope that the plan you have won't get disrupted. Um, because you can't, you don't always have the leeway to formulate a counter plan to every advantage. Especially this early in the game, you just have to hope that, uh, no advantages will mess things up. All right, and with that, it is now time to vote. Estelle, you're up first. This is the best way for my survival. First step to success is usually the most important, so I hope this first step will help me get the win. Sorry, man. We just think you're gonna be a strategic threat, and I'm sorry, really am. That I am not going to be playing my extra vote tonight. GG and you know, all that. Alright, I'm gonna tell you the votes. Alright, I have tallied the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol or an advantage in this game they'd like to play, now would be the time to do so. Alright then, I'll read the votes. First vote. Neptune. Alrighty. Second vote. Razi. Third vote. Neptune. Neptune. And the second person voted off of season 9 Crystal Mountains. Neptune. Please give me your torch. Sorry, Neptune. Neptune, the tribe has spoken. Time for you to go. Well, Adachi, Venom, Razi, Samaj, and Estelle, congratulations on making it one more day into this game. Grab your torches, head back to camp. It, I mean, I tried my best, that's all. I, I'm i surprised they got threatening vibes so early. It just, I might have given something, made it, might have given them some like off vibe, but hey, it happens. I tried my best and that's all I can say. Stay tuned for more from our next episode. 
next time on Survivor. Everybody, please drop your buffs. We're gonna swap in tribes. Yeah, bitch. Oh, oh my god. god. Well, this tribe is certainly already off to a bit of a chaotic start. I very dearly collapsed. Oh boy, somebody has been talking a lot of garbage around camp this night.